What's good, you guys? You know who this is. It is Poetical Soul, and I am here at home. But then again, I've always been home anyway because of the simple fact that I am introverted. Y'all, you guys, I have been introverted for a long ass time. It is not a preference. <laughs> Because I read somewhere that some asshole doctor had the nerve to say that, oh, introversion is a preference. Bitch, it's not a preference. <laughs> I was born this way. I was born, born, born this way. But any gay, okay, I am home. As always, this is nothing new. This is nothing new for me to be home because of the fact that I love being home. It's comfortable. <laughs> right it's comfortable and it's safe and I hope everybody is safe out there because we are in a completely different fucking world man what is going on here in fact what's going on with you how is everybody how is everybody I hope you guys are staying your 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 ass is home almost said black ass, but I'm sure that there are many other people that are listening right now, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are staying home, I hope you guys are safe at home, I hope you guys are feeling safe, and if you are just feeling some kind of way, if you are just all over the place, like I have been, because, you know, mental illness, but if you guys are just feeling some kind of way, it is okay, I got a saliva going on thing, man. Go, oh, so much going on in my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, uh, it's okay to feel discombobulated because our world has been turned upside down, man. It has been turned so just topsy turvy, just flips like a goddamn pancake do you hear me it is it's it's off the chain with this pandemic man i i can't believe it i'm like is this real life <laughs> i mean it does not feel real it feels so real but what's real real is the deaths and that whoo that shit the deaths the, the the passings of so many people from this fucking Rona, COVID-19, the coronavirus. I am just like, this is unreal. This is so fucking unreal. I mean, people are dropping like flies. God rest their souls. They did not deserve to go. God damn, man. And the fact that we got to... Uh, social distance and and stay six feet away you know via social distance and just basically only go out for your essentials and if you want to just chill outside you can chill outside as long as you stay six feet away from motherfuckers okay <laughs> because man people humans mm, excuse me Humans are just walking around asymptomatic, man. You never know. You never know. And just got to be safe. You got to be careful. And with me, I'm feeling this anxiety to walk out of my fucking house. Now, before, it was just anxiety. Just pure fucking anxiety uh, being around people because it's just, just people, okay? Energies, it's just too much. It's overwhelming. But now, got a lot of spit going on because I'm talking. <laughs> oh my God, my mouth is not used to this. Oh my goodness. Um, in case you guys don't know, I've had throat surgery about a year ago. So uh, I got to redevelop my voice because it's uh, it's different. I feel personally that it's different. But, um, and I, you know... I'm just adjusting, and it's, I just hope you guys can hear me, and that I sound clear as day, or whatever, I hope, I don't know, I might not even upload this, but any gay, um, what was I saying about social distancing, and just, uh, 
staying away from people. Oh yeah, anxiety. Before anxiety, you know, before the world changed, you know, when it comes to anxiety, I don't like to be around a whole bunch of people because I, I'm an empath <laughs> and it's just too much going on. It's, you know, the, the energies of other people, it's overwhelming. But now I am petrified to even go to the fucking store <laughs> to go inside a store because humans be carrying shit and you don't know. You just never know what the fuck they got. With this Rona, it's just, oh, gosh, man. Thank God we have to wear a mask. <laughs> but hopefully everybody has one. So, I mean, damn. Everything in limited supply from toilet paper to, um, what else? Um, if you hear any little pauses, I'm swallowing my, my saliva because I, I need to get used to talking again. But, um, everything is is in short supply. I mean, this toilet paper thing, I, you know, raw and real, I miss using Scott tissue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, can you believe that a person like me misses, you know, miss using a specific toilet paper that is always out of stock? I mean, what the fuck? Right? So, uh, and hand sanitizer, thank God I found an independent company through Instagram that, uh, you know how when you scroll on Instagram and you run into these fucking ads, well, I ran into a particular ad and, uh, found some, uh, hand sanitizer by an independent company ran by women and uh, Southern California, and I decided to order some shit, so, it'll be on its way, so I'm like, yes, I got some hand sanitizer on deck that's coming, yes, so yeah, man, a lot of things that we have in this life, we have taken for granted, and, uh, and now we're like, fuck, we're in need, we're in need of a lot of things in this life, man, a lot of things, man, it's, Ah, uh, this this world is insane. It's crazy. It's it's off the chain. But but the perspective of it all, depending on your situation, is that you get to relax. You get to just reflect on yourself. This is like this is like Mercury retrograde on a completely new level, <laughs> where everybody has to participate. Everybody has to get on board with staying your ass home <laughs> so that things can resume back to the way it was, hopefully. But just, yeah, this is nothing new for me just to chill out and relax and just watch some Netflix and chill out on my own by myself while my aunt's at work. <laughs> Oh my God, speaking of my aunt, shout out to her, shout out to all the service workers, shout out to everybody who is on the front line, oh my gosh, man, I'm giving y'all some safety energy, oh my goodness, but uh, yeah, um, just, I'm, I'm alright, you know, I'm, I'm fine, I mean, it's just that this whole thing of everything that's happening is just so overwhelming to see online every day is it, it does get a bit much and I just have to take a step back and be like you know what I need a break and I'm just gonna resume to how I've been doing even before the pandemic just hit the fans just relax relax chant meditate whatever I gotta do masturbate yes I said it <laughs> raw real baby uh just do whatever i can to relax make some bracelets write some poetry yes i have written a few well actually no i only wrote yeah i wrote a few pieces some of them were just haikus but you know i'm still a poet y'all i'm still poetic old soul but <laughs> just finding ways for self-care man that's all you guys gotta do is just you know uh 
apply that during this time. Do whatever you can to relax. And it's okay to feel un, un you know, uncomfortable. It's okay to feel uh to feel like you're not in control of your life. It's okay. Just let go and relax and just uh, just be. Just be. And that's all I got to say, man. Um, this was actually a test. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Oh, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> Before I used to not be, but now I probably have strained the fuck out of my voice. So on that note, <laughs> I hope everybody is just taking it easy and enjoying yourself in your pajamas. And if you eat whatever you got, eat whatever you got. Don't let any of these fuckers on the internet shame you as far as eating if you if you eat a whole bunch of shit then it then it is what it is you know what i'm saying we are in a crisis here you know oh, fucking internet i swear but on that note hey <laughs> i gotta go and um i hope this clip just turns out the way that i hope and uh we shall see all right i love you guys Hang in there. Mwah. Poetical Soul is signing out. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> please, 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 please be safe. And stay your ass home. Please. <laughs> I love y'all. Peace.